In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Yuku's Armor HUD for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you want to do is go to your search bar, and you want to search up mod events like so. Then just enter, and here you'll find mod.com. Here you just click on mod events, and then you'll be on this modern homepage here where you can go to the top of the website to discover content and then go to mods. Here you'll be on this page so all you want to do here is go to search mods and you want to search up UQ Armor HUD. So UQ's Armor HUD here and from there you want to go to the mods name here and then all you want to do is go to the versions tab. Here, you want to go to game versions and you want to choose a Minecraft Java version that you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one they have, which is also the latest Minecraft Java version. And here, we're going to use Fabric for today's tutorial, so make sure you have Fabric and of course the version that you want. So here, once you have the correct file, just click the green download button and you now have Yuku's Armor HUD on your computer. And from there, all you want to do is go to the version name here and it will bring you to this page here where you can see that we have dependencies here we have ukulib and we also have fabric api which doesn't show up here but you also need to get this but we can start by getting ourselves ukulib so just go ahead and click this and from there you want to go to versions just like before and then you want to go to game versions and you want to choose the same minecraft java version that you did for uq's armor hud so i did the latest one here and from there just get yourself a release or the latest release of the specific file version. Here, make sure this matches your UQ's Armor HUD file and it is for Fabric. So just click the green download button for that. And from there, you need Fabric API. And to get this, you want to go to Discover Content here, Mods. You're going to see Fabric API. If it doesn't show up here, you can always just go ahead and search up Fabric API like so. And here, just click on the mods name. From there, you want to go to versions, then game versions, and here you want to do the same thing as before. Just get yourself a version of Fabric API which matches the other mods version. So I did the latest one here, and from there, make sure it is a release if you can for Minecraft version that you want here, and it will always be for Fabric. So just do download for that, and you now have everything that you need from modern. Although you do need to get yourself Fabric, and to do this, you will want to go to a new tab, then you want to go to your search bar and you want to search up Fabric Minecraft like so. So Fabric Minecraft. And with this, we will be able to use the mods in Minecraft. So this is what we need this. But basically, here is FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric. And from there, once you are on the Fabric homepage, you want to go to the blue download button here. Then you want to go to the blue download for Windows button. And you're now done with your web browser. If you have Fabric Installer, Fabric API, Eucalyp and Yuku's Armor HUD, you can now go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. So I'll just do close for now. And here, you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here you have everything you need to get the mod to work. So what you want to do is double click the Fabric Installer app here. And you're going to have a little window here that shows up. For the Minecraft version, make sure this matches the Minecraft version for Fabric API, Eucalyp and Yuku. Armor HUDs here, so make sure this is all for the same version here or else it will not work, so keep that in mind, but once everything matches, just do install, okay, and close. And once you're done, you can go to the Minecraft Launcher, and with the Minecraft Launcher, we'll be able to add the free mods to the mods folder. So basically, once you have Fabric loaded here, you will have a mods folder that you can access by going to installations here then going to Fabric Loader and then going to the folder icon. Now, what you want to do is go to Mods here. You're going to find a Mods folder, double click it, and from there, you want to go to Downloads. You want to select the three mods here and copy them. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click Paste. So here we basically copy pasted Fabric API, Eucalyp, and Eucalyp Armor HD in .Minecraft Mods. So make sure you have this layout here with whatever version you want. And from there, you can go to the Minecraft launcher again. You can go to play, 
Make sure Fabric Loader is selected and click play. And now, all you want to do is wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world here. And we can go ahead and try out the mod. So, okay, and once we are in a world, we can go ahead and try out Yuku's armor HUD. So basically what's going to happen is that we first need to get ourselves some armor. To get armor, we're just going to go to our inventory here. And just get ourselves some various different types of armor pieces. And here, if we add this on our inventory, you'll notice on the bottom here we have a little armor. Well, HUD basically, which shows up. And this does change depending on what is going on with your armor pieces. So now I'm gonna show you with different damages indicators. I can also show up when basically your armor is low and also just the damage indicators themselves as well so basically we'll just go ahead and just get ourselves some specific apple I'm gonna get my myself some apples here like so and fire that would be like the fastest way to do it honestly so I'll just go to survival here and if I go and put fire here the armor pieces will go ahead and go down so you can see on the bottom here that we do have some different health levels for these different pieces which do go down so if I only give myself the leather boots here we can see that it goes down and after a while we're gonna have the second damage indicator which shows up which is gonna be the little uh, warning thing which is gonna tell us that our arm piece is low so we'll just go ahead and keep eating this and as soon as it reaches the red mark, you will have to finish it off. Like so, here you go. So now we have our armor piece and as it's really low, you can see that we have a little warning sign saying that we need to go ahead and check that one out. So yeah, and when it fully breaks, it just disappears. So yeah, that is something very simple, but it does qualify as quality of life so yeah there you go that is yuku's armor hud for you so yeah if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and one more thing this video was requested by a viewer so if you have any other questions with minecraft java or bedrock i can make a quick video for you as well if you need help with that so yeah just need to point this out but yeah that is for today's tutorial how to download and install yuku's armor hud so yeah see you for the next one bye